hey guys welcome back so today's video is going to be a beauty haul you guys requested that i do some beauty hauls here on my channel so i thought i would do that for you guys today all the products i will be sharing with you are from a new online store here in australia called boasted beauty you may not have ever heard of it as it's so new so i thought i would introduce you guys to Bosa and yeah so Bosa's mission is to end the makeup drought here in australia because all us aussies know that it is extremely hard to get certain products here at an affordable price so Bosa's mission is to help you guys out with that and yeah their products range from NARS, Lorac, Tarte, Anastasia Beverly Hills and so many more so I will be sharing with you some products that I got from them and I hope you enjoy. So the first product that I got which I am so thrilled about is the Lorac palette. In the box it also comes with like a little primer but I haven't used that yet. I was so thrilled to get this. I have seen this all over Instagram and YouTube and everybody and all the colors are so amazing but because it's so hard to get it here in Australia I never got it so I am so thrilled to have it now these are all the colors that it comes with there is a mixture of matte shades and shimmer shades which is pretty awesome this one down here looks a little bit funky because it was cracked but I fixed it with some rubbing alcohol which isn't too bad so yeah I'm just happy it wasn't any of these that were smashed but yeah it ranges from mattes and shimmers and it's mainly all neutral shades which I like I lift neutrals so this is pretty awesome and I can't wait to play around with it I haven't really used it yet so can't really give you guys a review but once I have played around with it a little bit more I will definitely post a full review on my blog with some swatches so yeah keep your eyes out for that and moving on the second product I got was the Laura Pro Palette 2 I was really excited about this as well because some say it's better than the first one and some say it's not but I really want to try it out to see what I thought about it and I absolutely love it I haven't used it yet either I haven't really used any of these products but it, it, it again is a mixture of mattes and shimmers and it has this amazing amazing navy blue shade up here which I can't wait to play with because I love deep navy colors which is awesome and yeah so that is awesome that is really really pretty and i can't wait to play with it i will also have a review and swatches of this one i've got on my use out of it so yeah so far looking at these they are both really 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 amazing and i can't wait to start creating with them okay, the second one also came with a little primer thing the thing that i was most excited about receiving was the hourglass ambient lighting powder palette I have been a bit cheeky and I have used this. I actually, the day I got it, I had to take it out of the box and try it out because I've heard such amazing, amazing things about these powders and you know what? They deserve all the hype they get because they are so, so pretty. So you can tell I've used them, but I think my favorite would have to be this shade, which is called Incandescent Light. It's just makes you look like you're glowing from the inside out, like. I can't explain it like you know when you use a highlighter and it's just really really shimmery and you can tell it's a powder does that make sense this doesn't do that it's it just looks like it looks like it's your skin which I love like it's it's so different and a really really cool thing to have in your kit I'm thinking I'll probably put this in my freelance kit and I'll probably end up buying the separate powders for myself because this is just amazing so yeah I definitely want to play with it a little bit more before I give you guys a full review but definitely if you guys can get your hands on this get it because I'm so impressed like I don't think I've ever been so impressed by a product before I'll actually give you swatches of this one so that's the three of them there I don't know if you can see that I don't think you can but because it's so faint but I'll definitely do a review of this, so I'm really excited. So another product I was really looking forward to trying was the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Expose. The only thing from Tarte that I've tried was their Maracuja Creases Concealer, which I absolutely love. But the thing with Tarte is you cannot get them in Australia, so I was thrilled when 
I saw that they had these so this blush is very pretty I feel like it would look better on people with fairer skin only because it's not the most pigmented thing in the world it just gives you this nice flush of color and it looks very very natural which is a plus in my books so I definitely have to play around with it a little bit more to see what I think of it. I'm not too sure if it lasts the full 12 hours, but I will let you guys know how this goes. I tried swatching it for you guys, but I don't think you can see that as it's so faint. But yeah, it is a really, really pretty natural color. So I'm excited to try that out. So another thing I got was the NARS blush in the shade Taj Mahal. This one is actually really, really pretty. You guys know I love the colour orange. I love orange shades, orange tones. So it comes as no surprise that I got the NARS Taj Mahal blush. This is such a pretty, pretty colour. It would look even nicer as an eyeshadow, I think. But I feel like when I apply this, you got to do it very lightly. Otherwise, it looks a fair bit muddy. But it's such a pretty, pretty colour when applied lightly. I feel like... This as well would look really, really nice on olive to dark skin. Like it would just be that perfect glow, I think. So, yeah, I love NARS blushes. I love their consistency. I love just their finish. They're just really, really pretty. This one does have a bit of a satin finish. So, I'm excited to play with this as well. I'm excited to play with everything. So, two things that I've got as well are... Really cool lipsticks by the brand Shanghai Suzy. This as well is a relatively new brand. I love the concept of this brand because what they explained was that each one of these colors is limited edition. So no color in this lipstick range is repeated twice. So they're all limited edition available for a limited amount of time. So I thought that was so, so cool. The first one I have here is the shade, I can get this open. The first one I have here is Miss Kitty. This is a really, really pretty plum shade. That is what that looks like. I love colors like this, especially. Oh, wow. These smell amazing. You know what they smell like? They smell like those, um, It actually makes my mouth water. It smells like, um, have you ever had warheads? Like those little sour lollies. They smell like warheads. I've been trying to figure out what that smell was for so long and it just hit me. Warheads, like that really sour candy. I love that smell. But yeah, these are, well, the color is amazing. The packaging is actually pretty cool too. And they smell divine. Oh yeah, they are a matte finish. So this one was Miss Kitty Black Plum. And the next one I have is Miss Maxima Burnt Orange. This is perfect as well. I love orange. So this is a really cool funky color as well. That one down there is Miss Maxima Burnt Orange. I really like the consistency, the pigmentation and... Just the feeling of these lipsticks, they're just really, really nice. But for me, nothing does it as much as the smell. It's a really, really amazing smell. They smell like warheads. They remind me of my childhood. You know when you were a kid and you'd run down to the milk bar during summer and just get lollies? That's what it reminds me of. Because they smell exactly like warheads. I'm not going to get over that. Okay. <laughs> but I want to move on. So funny little fact about books. Bosa Beauty. The word Bosa actually means kiss in Arabic, but it's pronounced more like Bosa. So that's a fun little fact for you guys. And what's even like so coincidental about that is that their logo is a little kiss, like lips, which is pretty, pretty cute. I really like that. So they also have come out with a new brand of lashes, their own brand of lashes, obviously called Bosa Beauty. These lashes are really really cool like they're wispy but crisscross which I'm really liking I dig lashes with this kind of style they are all it says is XX with a love heart at the back so I'm guessing that's the style number or whatnot but these are really cool I haven't tried them yet 
but I'm looking forward to playing around with that so I love lashes you guys know this so I think I will have a fair bit of fun with these so yeah so I also got a sample of the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I'm really excited to try this because I've heard so many re amazing reviews about this. You know, it's got it's pretty high rated. So the only thing that bothers me though, that would kind of put me off buying it, is it smells like glue. It actually it smells exactly like PVA glue, which. It's a bit of a turn off because I don't want to feel like I'm putting glue on my face but I have to play around with this and see how it works I don't always use primers on my face I don't know for me I don't feel like they make that much of a difference but I will give this a go and see how it goes I'll yeah, just I guess that's what samples are for right <laughs> and the final thing I got was one of these little blending sponges I've had a sponge like this before, but I gave it to my sister before she moved overseas. I find these are really good for blending out contours and stuff, but you can't wet these. I, when you wet sponges like this, they're very, um, they don't expand like a beauty blender. They get very stiff, so I find these work better when they dry, but they work really, really well. So I'm excited to have another one of these since I don't have any more. So yeah. So that is it for my haul, 